Johannesburg, South Africa. Johannesburg, popularly known as the City of Gold, is a megacity in one of the 50 largest cities. It is the provincial capital and largest city in Gauteng, South Africa's wealthiest province. The city was founded in 1886, following the finding of gold on what had previously been a farm. Because of the extraordinarily enormous gold mine discovered along the Witwatersrand, the population grew to 100,000 people in 10 years. Mining was the backbone of the Witwatersrand's economy, but its relevance is steadily diminishing due to depleted reserves, and service and industrial industries have grown in importance to the city's economy. Johannesburg is South Africa's financial and industrial capital, with a long history of gold mining. The city is fast changing from a seedy safari stopover to a thriving arts and culture center. Although most of the city's gold mines closed in the 1970s, the Witwatersrand gold sector accounted for more than 40% of global yearly gold production at the time. Rusted headgear, towering yellow-white mine dumps, and dusty Australian bluegum trees imported for underground timbering are still visible in the terrain. While gold mining is no longer permitted within the city borders, the majority of mining businesses still have offices in Johannesburg. The Constitutional Court, South Africa's highest court, is based in Johannesburg. Johannesburg is home to the headquarters of the majority of South Africa's major corporations and banks. It was one of the official host cities of the 2010 FIFA World Cup, and it also hosted the final. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. City Layout Johannesburg's geography reflects nearly a century of racially charged social engineering that peaked under apartheid, meaning apartness, South Africa's system of racial segregation from 1948 to 1994. The result is a metropolis of astonishing contrasts, with glass and steel skyscrapers and stench-filled shandatowns, internationally renowned colleges and widespread illiteracy, sparkling wealth and dire poverty. Central Johannesburg, South Africa's economic and financial core, is built out in a rectangular grid plan that has remained constant since the initial city survey in 1986. Streets are narrow and shrouded in shadow by high-rise concrete blocks, producing a tunnel-like image. Architecturally, the city is a mishmash, the result of decades of rapid growth and a distinct disregard for historic preservation. The original mining camps' tents and clay cottages have vanished, as have the majority of the elegant, gabled Victorian edifices that sprung up in the 1890s. The Markhams building on Pritchard Street is a notable exception. The early 20th century saw the emergence of a wide range of architectural styles and movements. Monumental bow arts constructions, such as the Supreme Court building and the Johannesburg Art Gallery, reflected the city's new status as a British empirical outpost, while gigantic steel-reinforced concrete structures like Corner House, the headquarters of one of South Africa's biggest mining companies, highlighted the growing influence of American architectural techniques and idioms. The American influence was even more visible in the 1930s skyscraper trend, most notably in the 1937 Eskimo Building, a 21-story Art Deco tower designed to reflect the vitality of New York City. People and their culture. Three fourths of Johannesburg's population is black, less than one fifth is white, and the majority of the rest are colored or Asian. Such estimates, however, do not do justice to the city's multilingual population. In Johannesburg, at least a dozen distinct languages are spoken on a daily basis. Representatives from every ethnic and linguistic group in Southern Africa make up the black people. Johannesburg has a vibrant, if somewhat bipolar, cultural scene. 
a journey to Johannesburg would be incomplete without a visit to the world-famous Market Theatre, a multi-theatre complex built in the city's ancient produce market. All of the world's main religions are represented, while Christianity is practiced by the vast majority of people, both white and black. Government and Public Services The city of Johannesburg Metropolitan Municipality, which includes delegates from all around the metropolitan area, is in charge of local government in Johannesburg. Privately owned power stations also provide some electricity to the city. Municipal police are in charge of traffic control. The South African police services are in charge of all other aspects of policing. The headquarters of the South African Broadcasting Corporation are located in Auckland Park, west of the city center. Education Primary and secondary schools have a wide spectrum of personalities. The University of the Witwatersrand, South Africa's finest university, is one of the higher education facilities available. WITS confers degrees in commerce, arts, sciences, architecture, law, education, medicine, and dentistry. It was founded in 1986 as the South African School of Mines. There is also the University of Johannesburg, which was founded in 2005 by the merger of Rand Afrikaans University, Technikon Witwatersrand, and local Visti University schools. Commerce Johannesburg is a center of mining, manufacturing, and finance. All the mining houses are headquartered in the city. From textiles to specialized steels, local factories in Johannesburg and the East Rand produce a wide range of products. The mining industry has a substantial engineering sector to support it. The city is home to the headquarters of nearly all of the country's banks, insurance companies, and building societies. Despite the fact that Pretoria, South Africa's capital, is only 40 miles to the north, the majority of state ministries are based in Johannesburg. Many foreign countries maintain consular facilities, primarily to serve the needs of the hundreds of foreign companies that operate in the city. Thank you for watching. If there were any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notification.